in each and every moment to have a choice what I want to do with all my data streams, a choice with all my thoughts, emotions, sensations, how I want to perceive them. If I want to perceive them as something that has power over me and has something that can affect my well-being, that is what I've had learned, that all my data really can affect how, the, how I feel and how I relate to people and how I am in the world. And now to really learn that I have a choice in each and every moment to either focus in on those data streams or to focus on open intelligence in short moments repeated many times. So short moment again and again to relax, to relax uh, body and mind completely. Whenever we are naturally remembered to do so, during our day we just relax one moment, one split second and we stop the train of thoughts we are having. We are st stop focusing in on, on all the descriptions that we have about everything. Trying to understand why we feel the way we feel or trying to analyze. I, I mean, I was completely analyzing my total life. Why I felt sad, why I felt like this, why I couldn't relate to that person, why this person doesn't relate to me like that, or all these kinds of stories that we, we all have. And it's very natural to have all these kinds of data coming up. But we have a choice in each and every <coughs> moment if we want to emphasize on that or if we want to relax and, and see the open intelligence inseparable from all our data. So inseparable from all these thoughts that we are having or all these emotions that we are having is there's a ground of being, open intelligence, that is always present. That that knows that we are having all these thoughts and sensations that, that um, just knows everything about ourselves. And we can just rely on that, rely on that about ourselves to really guide us in life and guide us to our well-being. So when we relax into open intelligence and recognize the open intelligence inseparable from all our experiences, then we can see that, w that we are completely at ease and f have complete well-being in each and every moment that all the thoughts that we are having, I mean, we have thousands of thoughts each day long, and we all know that. I mean, if you look at all your thoughts every day, I mean, they're endless and ceaseless, and we just learn to emphasize a few, like sadness, or, oh, I don't like this person, or I really love that person, I, I'm hungry, I want to eat that cake, I shouldn't eat that <laughs> cake because I'm getting fat. <laughs> we just, we just focused on, on a few of those and then we thought, oh, these are really something. They have more meaning than other thoughts. And some of them we just let pa pass by. But these ones that are really, that those are the ones that can, can really affect our well-being. But what we get, get to see is that all thoughts are equal and even in, in open intelligence. N non, no thought has more meaning or more power to affect us than other thoughts and emotions. So all thoughts and emotions are completely even and, and, and um, equal in that way. That they don't have any power to affect our well-being. Uh, they don't need to have any power to affect how we relate to people. And that's just such a big relief. Then we really see that we have that choice in each and every moment. We can really make that choice in each and every moment to um, yeah, to either emphasize that and really take some thoughts out of all our thought streams all day long and make a story out of them or just completely relax, seeing all thoughts, emotions passing by. The nature of all thoughts and emotions is that they, they arise, they hang out for a while and then they just resolve. And we don't need to do anything for it either to arise or to stay here with us or just to resolve. In the whole process of, of that, we don't need to do anything with our thoughts and emotions. They just, that, that's just the nature of everything that comes. So that's a big relief. So we can just kick back and relax in each and every moment, seeing that nothing needs to be done with our experience. Nothing needs to be done with any <coughs> data streams for us to have complete well-being. And so I really like that question also about um, eating and, and getting fat and completely relaxing with all our ideas about food. I mean, that was really powerful for me because I never really enjoyed having a piece of cake. I mean, I ate a piece of cake, but I always thought, oh, I need to now, I ate this cake, I need to go running the next morning, I need to, tomorrow I cannot eat any cake anymore because I ate yesterday and, 
and all these kind of things and always craving actually but holding myself being really strict with myself didn't want to gain weight and everything and and then just to completely relax all these idea about myself and relax about all the ideas of that if I'm slim I only have well-being or if I eat that food I will just have well-being just completely relax all ideas about food and I experienced also I, I, I gained a little weight at one point and and then just to see oh wow my well-being is still ensured even if I have three kilos more on <laughs> on my belly then when I didn't have it I feel the same and that's incredible we, we don't need to be slim or the fat or whatever we, we are, we are just perfect and we can see that we can have well-being in each and every moment. And what I found then also is that it just naturally, um, yeah, all the, the, my cravings about wanting sweets and holding myself, it just <coughs> evened out. I just, I, I didn't now suddenly just only ate chocolate cake and just wanted to eat sweets all my day, l uh, all day long. No, it just completely evened out. I, I, in each and every moment, I saw more and more what would be of most benefit to my body and myself. And so then to just see that th that also in the perspective of what to eat and, and what kind of food to eat, how much to eat, it just completely settles everything all our ideas and then it's just so amazing because then we can just completely enjoy food also without having any ideas about it not ho trying to needing to hold ourselves back just completely relaxed in each and every moment enjoying food completely it's so much fun to enjoy a chocolate cake without needing to worry about it and just testing it in each and every moment and you can all test that in, in testing testing it in eating a chocolate cake and one time not eating a chocolate cake with all the data that come up around that. We can relax with everything completely and from that we know what will be of most benefit in each situation. And that's also where we see, where we can also guide other people in that. Like when we have children, to really guide them what will be of most benefit is the most beautiful thing and, and, and amazing present we can give our children and really trust our ability that we will know in each situation what will, what will serve our children best and how we can guide them to empower them, really. Really empower them to be the best human being that they can and we can trust our ability, just also relaxing deeply and knowing what, what will serve best in each moment. Knowing that also through our example, our, our children just learn so much. They, look not, they don't look about what we say, they look about what we are doing. And if we are completely relaxing in open intelligence, they just naturally catch on as well and see how we relate in, in, in the world. And that's just so beautiful and that, that we can be uh, the, the best example for our children in that way, really guiding themselves also to what will be of most benefit. Also being direct in, in their actions, really we can directly guide them and show them what will be of most <coughs> benefit. So everything, and it's just so beautiful to really relax all our ideas about how we should raise a child or how we shouldn't. It's just so freeing to know that when we really trust open intelligence and our ability to know in each moment what will be of most benefit, it, it's just so natural to us to, to also um, show that to our children more and more. And y you will find though, you will really tap into that power for each and every moment. And that's the beautiful, this openness to really wanting to empower our children. It will be of most benefit to everyone. And that includes ourselves as well. So we are completely included in that self-benefit, uh, in that benefit of all. So uh, just touching into that and really letting that be your guidance of each and every moment, it's just so beautiful and really empowered me to completely to relax also in each and every moment really seeing that each and every moment I have that choice I can take to empower that that moment to empower myself to really tap into my full potential as human beings that's basically what what we are doing here really ta um, tapping into our full potential knowing in each and every moment what will be of most benefit what will be of most and also finding the most um, skillful means in bringing that about. So we can really, everybody has that ability to tap into that, everyone. So we just need to make that choice for ourselves. And we can make that choice just one moment at a time, one day at a time, making that choice to commit 
to open intelligence, just committing to our well-being and relaxing deeply in each and every moment, knowing that from that relaxation we will just know how to be in each situation that will be of most benefit for us and others. And that's just an amazing perspective of our life, that we can live like that. And we're all meant to live like that, completely at ease and knowing how to, to, to be in each situation. And this just becomes so and more effortless and easeful each moment that we are, we are making that choice again and again.